up on the autumn hall. Good at making something to do out of nothing at all. We chase white tail bucks, catch a few channel cats. Lord knows it don't get no better than that. That's just a day in the life on the autumn hall, yeah. Welcome back to Autumn Hall River Sportsman. Man, it's a new week and we got a good program for you this week. I got three words for you. Lobotess surinamensis, had to read that. Eddie Fish, triple tail. I never found a shell in it, not, not one shell. This fish has become one of the most chased fish around here in our part of the country. It is a great game fish and it is awesome to eat. So it's all no wonder that people are out there trying to catch it. What kind of rod is that? Well, I reckon it'll throw though. Um, St. Croix. Somebody had them on sale at Kennedy's. I saw them go, oh yeah, some got left me with these. So I can be $200 for all of them. Mike had some pretty ones off the markers last year. Yeah. Said he caught a couple big trout off. He got a fish in him. Baby triple tail. Oh, that's a little fish. Today we are out here off of Jekyll, sight fishing for triple tail. We're using the Harper Super Striker. See him? He just went down. Right here. He's down. That was the people. I'm gonna put a mark on this spot. Today, Captain Tim Cutting and myself are out here off the beach sight fishing for triple, triple tail. We're using the Harper Super Striker triple threat. We're just looking around out here and they'll float up sideways or and they'll look white or black and when you see it you just cast out in front of him and let your cork and him kind of run in together and hopefully he takes the live shrimp. You still see him? Yeah, they're gonna be hard to see though. And my, mine was back more about this way. Point your rod. Which way? Right there. The one I seen was back that way. These are two things floating together. Let's see if we get an angle. Well, as these fish start coming up from the south, we go out into the edge of the ocean, into the edge of the sound, and we see these fish, and you'll see them, they'll come floating by, and you try to toss to them and cast to them. So we take the Harper Super Striker triple threat, which is a weighted cork that you can throw, but it makes very little sound, so you don't want to spook these fish. And we'll throw it out in front of them and fish it back to us. And it's pretty awesome time. Spook it. I got too, I got too close to him. I got too close to him. I got, I got too close to him. Stop, stop. That's it. Oh, yeah. I thought I saw one. Yep, you did. I didn't see him until he was right here on us. He wasn't very big. Nah, he wasn't nah, very he big. big. Yeah, uh, sight fishing these triple tail can be tough. Uh, a lot of times you pick them up a little too late. They'll get a little boat weary on you. you know, ideally, you've got that sun behind you and you pick them up early so you can position the boat. Because uh, they do spook. Um, you'll find some that are happier than others that'll eat. But, um, sometimes it's beneficial to see which way they're going so you can lead that fish. And, Sometimes it's hard to tell which is his tail, which is his head. I've thrown it the backside a number of times. Um, 
the main thing is that you're seeing them and good glasses is an absolute must um, that's why good glasses cost a little more than others because the, the layers of polarization is much better and, and you really need to pick up those fish uh, i'm a big fan of amber vermilion or copper um, but it's really you know what your eyes like you know, i'll bring two or three pairs and sometime and change up as the sun changes angles um, a cloudy day makes it real tough. Dirty water can make it tough. Um, and some days they float different. Sometimes they're just under the water, so it's hard to pick them up early. Other days they'll float right on top and, and you can see them far off. And naturally, the earlier you can see them, the better shot you'll have position the boat and whatnot. And sometimes they're finicky. Sometimes we've seen them eat the cork. Sometimes we've seen them pick at it or they'll clean the shrimp off the hook. Oh, stop, um, stop, 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 stop. Hey, at least take us to that uh, to slit. Line? To that slit, yeah. Yeah. Right now, where well, I seen most of them yesterday, a few I did see. When you have a lot of fish out there, we had a lot today. Whenever you have a lot of fish out there, man, it makes for a good, good, good time and a good, good, good filming show. So, once again, Captain Travis Harper, Captain Tim Cuddy. We go over into the sound and we chase some of these triple tails. Right in front of us. Up in front. About Straight 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock. Go, go. You see? Not yet. You keep pointing. Way up there. He just went out. No, he's still up. That was gone. That's a baby, isn't it? No, pretty good. Go like, like out there, there, Tim. Get out here. Hey, man. You can eat your foot. Give him more to look at. We might spook him. Now he's coming. He's going to eat it. He's going to eat it. He's going to it. He's going to eat it. He's eating it. He'll eat it. He's eating it. He's eating it. Give him a second. Give him another second. Right. To the right of Barely pulled the slack out. He's to the right of Here he comes. No, no. Here he comes. Stop. Here he comes. Here he comes. He's got it in his mouth, but I'm holding another set. Yep. yep, there he is. He just swallowed it. <laughs> Good job. He looks like a copy of the other. Good lord. He going though. He'll get another gear on you. He did that time. I got you, Nick. I thought I'd go with one right here. That's close to 18. I don't know. It's going to be close, ain't it? Keep quiet. Baby, no. Let's have to hold him, man. Boy, they're a discriminant eater, aren't they? They are. got a munchie on Yeah, he kind of looked around him. Yeah. Walked all around and made sure it was the one he wanted. Swim out and <laughs> off like, yeah, like. like it, that might not be the shrimp I want. I might want to save my appetite for another one. That one's like teeth. Oh, Tim, you got a little bit better, better stick? Uh, yeah. Where's it at? Right here. I thought I seen a red one somewhere sticking up. Here. Oh. Shoot, you might make it. Yeah, he's at the end of it. You in there. 18 and a half. Yeah. Where's the cooler? That's pretty. We have us a snack. To get this beast. Oh my bad. You can see that we're seeing a lot of fish and we're catching a lot of fish. But we're trying we're trying to catch get go to some bigger fish, but when you're filming you want to catch some what you can film. And so we started catching a few smaller ones, trying to target the big ones, but those have been there done that and they're a lot harder to get close to. To get this release. Oh my bad. Good catch. 
Oh, he's on it. Hold on. <laughs> Put it right on the butt. I'm talking about it's almost too good. No, that's about the perfect cast. What, six inches? <laughs> that's how big the fish is. Yeah. That's all right. Hey, they got to be trained too. That's right. Yeah, he ain't going nice. to make it. He's a little short on one end. Nice. Even he'll get you. He yeah. got sharp gill plates right there. Hey, hey. That'll get you. Oh, see? He's got real sharp serrated gill plates right here to cut the line, cut you. All right. He's going to be a little easy, short. Easy. Oh, my God. <laughs> Don't that <laughs> <laughs> Do they tend to get bigger as the season goes on? I, I think they've been every size, I guess. And I think the bigger ones are probably a little more weary. They've been thrown on them since they left South Florida. Um, for some reason, they're, it's a good juvenile fishery out here. Uh, of course, you know, we're 18 inches. We're Florida, where they target a lot of them on the way up, or 14 inches. But I'm pretty sure there's legislation in it. If it's not already passed, they're going to change Florida to 18 inches. And I think that'll make a big difference. Um, Captain Greg Hilder told me about a commercial fishery in South Florida where they're fishing in the Loxahatchee River. And those guys are a lot of 200 pounds. And I, I think they realize there's no secret now. And, and they've told each other, so they, they're on them pretty hard. Uh, these fish come through Canaveral. Those guys whack them pretty good as they stay before they come here. But um, I've seen big ones floating out here. Today we've probably seen 14 fish, and we've definitely seen three keepers and we've got one keeper in the box so that's about a 70 percent ratio of, of fish under 18 inches which is about normal they're all fun to catch and the good thing is a, a fly fisherman or a plug fisherman they can catch these fish too they're pretty agreeable at times the way we usually fish for these is we'll rig a uh, super striker up and we'll give us about 12 inches a liter and then we'll fish it out in front of the fish bring it back to the fish and let the fish swim up to it. And then when the fish swims up to it, if you give him a little bit of that line and make him think that that shrimp's gonna run from him, that's when he'll hit it. I see, oh, I see that one, yeah. So you can't pass it. He, 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 to eat it. He, to, he won't see what court that is. He says, is that a super striker? <laughs> I don't eat nothing but a super striker. Yeah, there he went. Oh, oh. He just mounted. He's still up, though. I think he's still up. He, he, he's still he, he, up. He took the shrimp off. He's still up. He's still up right there. He just, he just got the come, on. Off. come on, come on, come on. He's still up. Good. He, he, he got him in the... Here he comes. Here he comes. He just now he's got it. His lips are smart. Now he got it. His lips are smart. Got some of them sharp ass hooks on that. The one in the mine stole my shrimp. That's probably the third time that's happened out here. He stuck it all off. But the other one he saw though. Yeah, he was big. He was, he big. was a little further out. Boat swinging? Oh no. He good. He good. I think we're good. I don't need it. It'll make you hit it. We'll be alright. We got more. I'm gonna make a mess. We keep throwing it out there, keep putting it out there. We wound up catching 10 or 15 fish. I think we actually wound up with 14. And we wound up with two keepers. I need a glove on. He didn't got me one time, that person. Did he get you? No, he probably got me dude, but the other one got me earlier. You drawing blood? Yeah, right there. It, and you're worth it. I need a, a rag or a glove or... You know those things have big gill plates on them, right? Yeah. They okay. do. We should film that. We did. I know. <laughs> He's pretty green, ain't he? Yeah, he is a pretty color. That's a pretty fish, now. 
see him at about 40 yards. Yeah, that's him. I'm gonna bump the speed up a little bit. He looks like he's looks like left a little to right. What do you think? He looks like a little bigger fish. Now he looks right to left. Yeah. Oh, that's a keeper there, I believe. I'm peeing. Oh, you all in. He's going over. There's two of them. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. The little one's eating my shit. Yeah. There's another one right here. He got it. 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 Yes, I can put a on it. Are you caught one? No. Not yet. It's kind of like he's going to my court, Phil. Yeah, I know. You're right on him now, Phil. We had a real good day. And we had a real good day to do it. You got to have some calmer water. You got to have some clear water. And we had both. I just texted on the way. Thank you. You good? Yeah. Dang, slow too. He acted like he did. Sweet. We're going to see you. He was right. He was right here on him too. He scooped right there. I think he's right here. He Tim, is. Tim, get up there in front of him. Yep. He's still up, Tim. Go. I'm behind him. He got it. Oh. I'm trying to get out your way. <laughs> this one's got another gear, Cricket. Oh, yeah, right here, Chad. Wait. See him? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I see him. I see him. I see him. I see him. I think he's ready to come home. He just might make it. I get it. I get my picture made with a better picture. <laughs> that one disappear on you? Yeah, I, I think I popped it. I pulled it a little too close to him and it spooked him. He was small. Them little ones are something. He's on it. Or something else. I seen him find it. Them little ones are something else. They're funny. Good release. Fucking release. Fucking release. We hope you enjoyed the show. And we hope that you'll come see us down here at the Ottawa Hall River, Two Way Marina, and the Ottawa Hall River Trading Company. We sure appreciate your business and we appreciate you being a part of the show. If there's something that you do that you think we should come film, let us know, man. We'll bring the cameras, we'll bring the crew, we'll go put it on film, and then we'll put you on here with us. Well, today we're out here uh, sight fishing triple tails, and the uh, fishing gods were pretty good to us, as was the super striker, the triple thet. That thing will throw a mile. That's a, a good weapon for the, uh, for the triple tail. Uh, what size leader you got on there, Travis? I got on this one 50 fluorocarbon. And, and they still weren't shy. I, I think nope. we, I even have one cut me. The, the least we used was um, 20, but they do have a real stout gill plate. And you get them turning on the bigger ones, and, and there's a little row of teeth there that, that's enough to knock it off, too. But, uh, what do we say? Saw maybe 40 something today? Maybe. And 
we got a double digits. I know Cricket quick counted a dozen. Um, two keepers in the box. Uh, we saw a couple real big ones. I'd say probably the majority of them, 70%, were, were probably in that 14 to 17, 17. range. Yeah. We caught quite a few of them too. Yeah. So if y'all want to come down to the Golden Isles and give it a try, you can check me out, Captain Travis Harper, 912-266-1430, or Captain Tim Cutting, what's your number? 912-230-1814, or you can look us up on uh, fishthegeorgiacoast.com or Ultima. Altamaha River Trading Company.com where you can purchase these super strikers and uh, there's a couple tips on both sides for uh, doing this triple tail fishing and um, shoot we do it all. Tarpon will be flying in here pretty soon. The redfish bite's been good. Um, trout's been medium. Flatter will be filing in here. Yep. There should be a Spanish macro bite any day now on the near shore wrecks. Um, as far as a pure fishery year round, it's hard to beat the Golden Isles. Jekyll, St. Simons, Sapelo, St. Simons Islands, Sea Island. I'm still looking for one. <laughs> but it's been a blast, dude. Yes, sir. That was awesome. Thank you, Captain Tim. Hey, we'd like to thank y'all for showing back up. We'd like to thank you for watching our show. And we'd also like to encourage you to go see our sponsors. They're the ones that make this happen. And without them, we could not ever produce this program. So if you want to get a good time and you want to go see a lot of these triple tails, get with Captain Travis Harper, Captain Tim Cuddy. If you need some of the goods that our sponsors have, please go see them. They'll take good care of you. And you can go see Shoreline Marine for their boats. You can go see Neesmith Chevrolet. And you can go see any of our other sponsors that will take good care of you. We'd like to thank you for showing up today on Autumn Hall River Sportsman. And as we always say, follow me down to the river. What you think they know about that old Autumn Hall, Lance? Oh, we done taught them all we know, bro.